Hi everyone and welcome to Western Sydney University's Online Talks. I'm Dr Katina Zamet and I teach in the School of Education. Today I wanted to talk to you about the different pathways to realising your dream of teaching and becoming a teacher through the courses offered at Western Sydney University. So why would you want to become a teacher? Well, it's a great profession. It is not just a career, but it is making a difference to the lives of students and the people in our society. According to a 2015 report from the Australian Council for Educational Research, there's going to be a high demand for teachers. In the next 15 years, New South Wales school population is forecast to grow by over 225,000. That means there's going to be a need for at least around 7,000 new classrooms, all of which will need teachers. And it is up to us to be able to provide the best teachers for our region. But why would you choose Western Sydney? Well, Western is actually ranked in the top 11 faculties and in the top 100 in the world for education. All our courses are professionally accredited with the New South Wales Education Standards Authority, which you may know as NESA. Apart from being a teacher, there are a huge range of career options that you can look for and undertake, not just in schools, but also in the community. And of course, other options in regards to building a further career within the education system. So within teacher education at Western, there are four pathways to actually becoming a teacher. The first one is you could study an undergraduate degree and then undertake a master of teaching. You could complete a bachelor's degree with a pathway to teaching at Western Sydney and then transition into a master of teaching. You uh, can complete the Bachelor of Education primary from next year. Or if you come from an Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander background, you may be eligible to complete the Bachelor of Education primary Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander education. The other reason to come to Western Sydney is we have a very large network of industry partnerships not just with schools and early childhood centres, but we have a range of partnerships across New South Wales, in the city, in the regions, in the rural areas. And we, you are going to be provided with an opportunity to undertake your professional experience placements across the range of different settings. So now let's have a look at the actual degrees that we offer at Western Sydney University through the School of Education. And I'm going to talk to you about becoming an early childhood educator, becoming a primary teacher, and also becoming a secondary teacher, and the pathways that you can undertake to realise, as I said, that dream of becoming a teacher. In the early childhood area, we have a degree that is called the Master of Teaching, birth to five and birth to 12. This prepares you to be an educator and teacher within early childhood settings, if you exit with a birth to five degree, or if you remain for another six months, you can exit with a birth to 12 degree and you are able to teach in early childhood settings as well as in primary schools. This degree provides children with a strong foundation for successful learning now and in the future. Because as an early childhood educator, you work with families, with the communities, you involved in early intervention programs, you work with allied health professionals in order to promote children's well-being, to support families and children who need the service and or you may need additional services and to as well to maintain your expertise, to be able to assist students to promoting children's communication, creativity and imagination, as well as their social and emotional development. 
And at Western Sydney, we have a strong focus on the relationships and collaborative learning that you'll need to use when you are working in an early childhood centre. Our staff are all engaged in research and our courses also have a strong focus on diversity and social justice. And at Western, you'll be able to make that connection between the theory and ideas presented in the course and the units with the practices that you undertake in the early childhood and primary school settings as well. So how do you get into the birth to five, birth to 12 early childhood degree? Well, there are two pathways to become an early childhood or primary teacher. One is you undertake an undergraduate degree and then you apply for the Master of Teaching Birth to Five, Birth to Twelve. Alternatively, you could also take the Bachelor of Arts Pathway to Teaching Birth to Five, Birth to Twelve, in which you can, will transition into the Master of Teaching Birth to Five, Birth to Twelve. Of course, after two years, you may decide that you wish to exit and become an early childhood teacher and undertake an early childhood teaching career. If you stay for a further six months, you'll complete the primary component and you'll exit with a birth to 12. And as I said, you can be both an early childhood teacher as well as a primary school teacher. The benefits of course of undertaking the Bachelor of Arts pathway to teaching, birth to five, birth to 12, is that you do four of the units from the Master of Teaching degree while you undertake your early childhood Bachelor of Arts. That means that you reduce the amount of time to become an early childhood educator or a primary teacher by six months. If you decided that primary teaching is the job for you because you're more interested in focusing on learning how to teach and work with children in the primary years and to develop your understandings of in a greater depth for the primary curriculum, then primary teaching is offered through a number of courses at Western Sydney University. Through this course, you actually learn about the, how children learn, how to create supportive learning environments and how how to encourage students to become independent learners, as well as develop your own personal, organisational and intellectual capacities as well. Being an educator is a continually learning journey. So what are the pathways into the primary teaching for you? Similar to the early childhood, you can undertake a three year undergraduate degree and then come into the Master of Teaching primary. Alternatively, in a similar way, you might undertake the Bachelor of Arts pathway to teaching primary or a Bachelor of Science pathway to teaching primary. And again, this would mean that you would transition directly into the Master of Teaching primary. The benefit, of course, of doing the pathway to teaching primary degree at the undergraduate level is it similar to the early childhood. You undertake the study of four units from the Master of Teaching Primary during your undergraduate degree so that you can complete a two year degree, which is the time it takes at a master's level, in only one and a half years. And if you reach a GPA of five or more, you can actually accelerate that means you can actually complete your degree in a year. However, if you're interested in doing an undergraduate degree in uh, primary education and DIP itself, then in 2021, we'll be offering the Bachelor of Education primary. You'll have to reach an ATAR of 80 or an equivalent, and this is a four-year degree at full time. If you 
are from an Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander background, then you may like to investigate the Bachelor of Education Primary, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander, which has both an ATAR as well as an alternative pathway entry for applicants who wish to take this opportunity. Again, it's a four year full time degree and it is offered in what's called a block mode. For more information on that, I suggest you go and look at our website uh, so that you'll be able to see what that alternative pathway looks like. So I choose to do your primary teaching degree at Western. As I mentioned, we have a strong focus on equity and social justice. We also have a focus on building your understandings and skills as a professional to teach a wide range of students from cultural and linguistically diverse backgrounds, as well as from socioeconomically disadvantaged areas. Our degrees are professionally accredited through NESA. And we also have the opportunity to provide you with a primary teaching specialization that is also a NESA approved teaching specialization. In the undergraduate degree, the Bachelor of Education primary, this primary specialization is a STEM focus. It's a science and technology focus because we know that this is an area of need within our society as well. The Bachelor of Education Primary, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander, apart from being a targeted equity entry pathway, has obviously a very strong focus on Indigenous knowledges, content, perspectives, as well as provides an opportunity to be a NESA approved primary English teaching specialist. The Master of Teaching, however, is also an opportunity for you to spend the time developing your passionate area in an undergraduate degree or a focus area within the Bachelor of Arts as well. And as I've stated, you do four of the degree units in the undergraduate degree uh, as well. But this degree offers the opportunity for you to become a NESA approved teaching specialist in English, mathematics or science and technology. So it gives you a bit of choice to be able to choose what you're interested in learning more about to be able to improve the learning outcomes of the students that you will be working with during your professional experience placements, but also during your career as a primary educator. In all the primary initial teacher education programs, you will be involved in professional experience placements where you can go out and you'll be in the classroom. This is where you practice your craft of being a teacher. It's where you learn about putting those ideas that you have learnt in your units on campus into practice. It's where those skills you are developing to demonstrate your capacities to meet the graduate teacher standards. While you're in schools practicing your craft, you will be supported by a university advisor as well as a supervising teacher who we call a mentor teacher. Your mentor teacher is there to support you, to provide a model of, teacher, of a teacher, to also support you in designing your lessons and with classroom management and other areas that are part of the role of a teacher. It's where you can practice your skill and start to build up ways to demonstrate that you are classroom ready and that you are able to meet the graduate teacher standards. Hopefully, the school that you are placed in will also have some of your peers there as well. So you'll be able to support each other and you'll be able to share that experience with each other and what you are learning. 
If your passion is to become a teacher of a subject area and to work with adolescents, then being a secondary teacher is the career for you. A secondary teacher works with year seven to year 12 and develops adolescents' potential academically, physically, socially, and morally. As a secondary teacher, you are a subject specialist. You are a curriculum specialist, and you are there to develop students' understandings of that content area. A secondary teacher teaches in a specific curriculum area, for example, English, mathematics, business studies, PDHPE, history, visual arts, legal studies. Actually, at Western Sydney University, if there's a curriculum area that you want to be a teacher of in secondary school, then we are the place for you. You may undertake any of the curriculum areas at Western Sydney University and learn how to be the teacher of that particular curriculum area. As a secondary teacher, you also monitor the social welfare of students and identify the supports they need if they are changing schools or relocating to a different area in Australia, as well as supporting students who are having challenges at school uh, because they may have some learning difficulties. Similar to the early childhood and primary degrees, a secondary degree at Western Sydney University also focuses on inclusivity, social equity, and also Aboriginal and culturally responsive pedagogies. We work with a large range of diverse students who come from a wide number of cultures, as well as socioeconomic backgrounds. And it is important that as a teacher, you learn how to differentiate the teaching to meet the learning needs of the students in your class. And this is what you will learn during your degree. So how do you become a secondary teacher at Western Sydney University? There are three different pathways that you can take into secondary teaching. You can undertake, as with the other master's degree, a three-year undergraduate degree in a passionate area of your interest that you want to study further. And then you can apply for the Master of Teaching Secondary, which is a two-year full-time degree. You can, however, at Western Sydney University, look into undertaking an undergraduate degree in a pathway to teaching. There is a Bachelor of Arts pathway to teaching secondary, a Bachelor of Science pathway to teaching secondary, a Bachelor of Health Science, Health and Physical Education pathway to secondary teaching, Bachelor of Business and a Bachelor of Graphic Design pathway to teaching secondary. And you can transition into the Master of Teaching secondary. Similar to the other master's degree, you'll be able to undertake four units in your undergraduate degree and be able to exit with a Master of Teaching in one and a half years. And if you are a high achiever and have a high GPA, then you may even be able to exit in one year using the accelerated mode. We also have a specialty area for secondary teaching which is a Master of Teaching Secondary STEM. For this degree, you come in, you need to have studied a three-year undergraduate degree in science, technology, engineering or mathematics and have a GPA of five. It runs slightly differently to the Master of Teaching Secondary in the two-year postgraduate master's degree because you spend at least two days intensively working and learning in a school. So what do you learn in initial teacher education degree to become a teacher 
Well, it's more than just the content. It's more than just the curriculum and the subject areas. You learn about teaching. You learn how to be a teacher, how to meet the graduate teacher standards. You learn about classroom management. You learn about the social and cultural influences on student learning. You learn about differentiating the learning to meet the needs of different cultural and ability groups as well. You're involved in how to improve teaching practices so that students are engaged in learning and not just simply doing a task, but they are actually engaged in learning and they want to be in your classroom. But obviously you need to be able to learn and to demonstrate and to practice lesson planning. You know, we always tend to plan too much and you need to then think about, well, what is timing? How are you going to make those adjustments? And how can you be flexible in the classroom? That is really a hard thing to learn. And of course, you're wanting to make a difference. You're wanting to have an impact on a student's life. And you need to know what they're capable of, where they're at, and plan for their future learning as well through understanding of assessment and the feedback you give to students as well. One way of actually having to do that is also what we call a teacher as researcher approach. So not only will you investigate and learn about teaching as a pre-service teacher during your degree, but you will be practicing the skills to be a teacher researcher for when you're in classroom and you have got a classroom full of students or as a secondary teacher, many more classes. And you will need to consider how your practices, what you're teaching, is it actually making a difference to students learning? Because as we know, a teacher makes a difference in a child's life. It is a passion career. You are passionate, and you can make a difference. And if you want, Western Sydney University is the place for you to begin your journey towards becoming a teacher. Thank you for joining me in this talk. We look forward to seeing you next year or next semester and in the future. Of course, if you have any questions, please reach out to us. We're ready to help. Because if you wish to become a teacher, then you can begin your journey at Western Sydney University. I hope to see you soon. Bye.